Prince Harry, who is a keen polo player, is set to put any differences with his brother aside for their first public engage between Meghan Markle and her father, Thomas Markle, and her half-sister, Samantha Markle, has been strained for a while now. It seems that both Thomas and Samantha just can't stop themselves from spouting their opinions on Meghan's life to the media. They have both stated they want to mend the rift and have a good relationship with Meghan, Prince Harry, and baby Archie, but at this point, is that even possible? Should Meghan give them another chance, or have they done too much damage? In this article, we're going to break down the damage that's been done by both Thomas and Samantha, and explore the question of whether Meghan owes anything to her estranged family. July 10th. It is not known whether the pair will be on the same team or if their wives, Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Meghan Markle will attend. The event will be the first time they have made a royal outing as just brothers since they hosted a reception in October for the 2018 Illegal Wildlife Trade Conference sized him not to speak with the memed after former Leicester City football owner Vichai Srivay Dhana Prabha, who was a keen polo player, walked Meghan down the aisle been running rife that the two brothers locked horns because William believed his bro- because he decided not to attend the royal wedding. Although, he stated health problems as the reason he missed the wedding fallout. I was hospital for heart surgery royal source that actually didn't disturb that her father would not make the wedding, I certainly think that now are up walking her down the aisle instead. Final the relationship. To woo his daughter back his brother is a dad. Meghan, 30 in which she asked him to stop spreading lies of the parted royal households from the Duke and Duchess of Case and Meghan's relationship and moved to Frogmore Cod to cut ties with her fog castle ahead of the arrival of baby Archie. The couples also split their charity, the Royal Foundation, and Harry and Meghan broke away to form their own Instagram account. With Archie's private christening set to take place on Saturday, the Royal commentator said it would be wonderful if there were picture of Archie surrounded by his royal cousins, George, Charlotte and Louis. Meghan and Harry are keen for baby Archie to have a normal upbringing, the book was first titled, The Diary of Princess Pushy Sister. Talk about insulting. Although, Samantha later decided to change the title to A Tale of Two Sisters, at the suggestion of her agent, because it did not reflect Samantha's loving feelings for her sister. Samantha seems like a driving force behind the family drama, because she also admitted that her father's paparazzi photo scandal had been her idea. Samantha continued talking to the media, giving multiple interviews, even after being asked by Meghan and the royal family to avoid speaking with the media. She repeatedly made disparaging comments about Meghan, and then alternates between blaming the media vultures and courting their attention. Samantha even went as far as to claim the paparazzi made her and her boyfriend crash their car, even though there is no evidence of this or a police report confirming her accusation. Samantha Markle blasts Meghan, again, Big surprise Samantha is in the news again. After the birth of Meghan and Harry's son, Samantha told the Mirror that she felt it was wrong of Meghan not to invite Thomas to be a part of the celebration.